Hey, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to show you how you can retrieve, basically get back your files from your SD card, which you have maybe accidentally deleted, maybe they're corrupted, maybe you formatted the uh, SD card. Well, I'm going to show you how to retrieve those. And the first thing that I want you to try to do is see if you can retrieve those manually. Now I have a video in the description below. It'll basically show you how to uh, retrieve it manually, basically going to a PC, going to a command prompt, and typing in some basic commands, okay? Now, it's totally free, and the thing is with that method, you have a 50-50 shot on retrieving it, um, all your files, okay? Now, this SD card here is, I was not able to retrieve, I have corrupted files on here, and I also formatted this SD card. So I have uh, corrupted files, and I basically have nothing on this SD card, and I was not able to retrieve it manually. And if you go to my video on the link below and you're not able to retrieve uh, your data, then you want to you want to come back to this video and watch this video, okay? So here's my SD card here. I wasn't able to retrieve anything manually from this. So, and I had it in this phone here, and I have photos in here since like 2011, okay? Anyways, I had an SD card in my phone here, and I took it out, and what you gotta do first thing is, Plug this into your computer or an SD card reader in your laptop. If you don't have one in your laptop, I don't have one, you can just get one of these uh, memory card, uh, SD card adapters, which is really cheap. I'll put a link below where you can get it, but it's it's really cheap. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in here like this. Oh, and, and here's one more note too. Um, sometimes when you have the SD card in your phone and maybe it'll show up corrupted or something like that, the thing is a lot of times where when you take out the SD card and you put it in one of these memory card readers and you pop it into your computer, and then guess what? There are times where you're able to like retrieve those photos just by doing this, okay? But then when you put it back into your phone, to the SD card reader, again, it shows up corrupted or inaccessible, okay? Okay, so anyways, I, go, I went on and I plugged it into my USB port here. And let me go ahead and get to my computer now. Okay, so I have my SD card into my in my computer now, and I basically want to go and confirm that it's reading it, so I'll just open up a uh, Explorer here. I'll go to this PC and I look down here, it says removable disk. Let me double tap on that. And this is my uh, SD card here. There's some files in here, but there's no uh, DCIM folder in here, basically with all my photos, okay? So let me do this now. Oh, and the software that I use is called, it's by Wondershare. The thing is, I mean, it's, it's $50 or it's $35, okay? If you only wanted to recover photos and videos and audio files, then you can go for the $35 one. I actually went for the $50 one because I had to retrieve like documents on a different SD card as well. And of course, I was able to retrieve those documents. But both of these work uh, the same way, just that you can retrieve more information with this uh, Wondershare uh, data recovery instead of the uh, photo recovery. So let's do this now. And I'm going to put this link below as well. And... Let's go ahead and open up the program. And this is what the, the icon looks like. Wondershare data recovery. Let me double click on that, open that up. Click on yes. Okay, now from here I'm going to click on next. And now, okay, so right here it says I, I can uh, do uh, photos here and it shows uh, audio here. And so you can, this one has auto document here. Uh, email now if I want two or more let's say you had photos and videos you can't click both of them it's one or the other so if you wanted one or more of these and you would ob obviously have to click on all file types okay but I only have photos in here so I'm just going to click this first one I'm going to go ahead and click on next and now I have to find a location it's actually on a external removable device okay because remember my SD card is on that USB um, adapter Okay, so here we go. External removable device. Click on next. Okay, now what I did from here was I actually clicked on both. I clicked on enable deep scan and enable raw recovery file. Click on start. Give us a while. All right, so we're more than halfway through right now. And I also forgot to mention that um, they do have like a free trial. The only thing with the free trial is they offer like you're only able to retrieve it to 100 megabytes. Um, I didn't even I didn't even try the uh, free trial. I just went and purchased it uh, because it, there is like a 30 day refund. So I figured if it didn't work for me, then I would just go ahead and get my refund. Anyways, let me go ahead and wait till this is at 100%. 
Okay, now it is uh, reading sectors here, and you can see that it found 200 files here. So let me wait till this is complete. Okay, so we're almost done here. You can see that it found 200 files, and some of these files were corrupted. But I did also format this entire, entire drive, and I'm going to show you I'm able to get back every single one of these files. So give us a second. We're almost done. Okay, so now it is complete. Now I'm going to click on right here, graphic, and then I'm going to tap on JPEG here because remember there were uh, I selected only all photos. Okay, now take a look at this. Now I have there's tons of files in here. There's like 200 of them in here. Okay, now we have something that says good here. Now if I tap on good, oh my goodness, look at this. It says the file may be corrupted. Let me click on this one. File may be corrupted file may be corrupted okay so I have some that may be corrupted but if I go down here to the preview window even though it doesn't show modified date or status or date create anything I'm able to take a look at all these photos okay now if, if I go back up to uh, good here you can see let me go back up even further here let me go down you can see I have some of these photos that were taken from like 2011 Okay, so th this file may be corrupted. Okay, no problem. Okay, we're going to go and click on recover here. And now I got to place it into a folder. Let me just put it on my C drive and I'll make a new folder and I'll call this one uh, recove. Click on recover. Give it a second. And one more thing to note too if you guys ever run into a problem where you have corrupted files or you formatted a, um, an SD card and there's pictures or videos or whatever that you want on there don't continue to use that SD card because if you overwrite those uh, photos and videos that have been like formatted or anything once it overwrites it you're not going to be able to recover it so you ever have a situation where you have accidentally formatted deleted something don't use the SD card okay just put it aside until you're able to like use a software like this or retrieve it manually okay alright so we're halfway through with this here Okay, so we're done here, and now this is what I first did. I first thing I did was I clicked lost file recovery. I double clicked on that, double click on that, go in here, and it gave me like two directories. I just clicked on one of them, and I saw all these. I was like, oh great, it's going to be working. So I double click it, and then this pops up. Um, it's not, it's not. Um, uh, this photo viewer doesn't support this format. It's supposed to be JPEG. What do you mean it doesn't like um, support this? Anyways, what I had to do was uh, let me go. Let me go back up here. I had to go to this one here. Let me go back up. This one here, the raw file recovery. So I double tap on that. Let me go and do this folder, this folder, this folder, and voila, check this out. All 200 uh, photos are in here. And some of these were back. I wasn't able to get these. And they were, I mean, they were taken back in 2011. So that's pretty much it. Hope that helped you guys out. If you didn't, comment below and I'll see if I can help you. Pretty much it. Thanks for watching.